Hello everyone and welcome to today's video where myself and Brett Hello. are going to be taking a look at this Home Bargain Super Hauler. Now I saw this the other day when I was in their shop and I thought we've had a Poundland one before in the past but we didn't show it on this channel, we did that on our other channel. Which I thought we'd take a look at this and see if it's any good and whether they're worth collecting this kind of... Um, Promotional vehicle, really, isn't it? You're like, you're like basically buying an advert. <laughs> so well, you could think of it like that. I do think of it like that. Actually, that's that's something a lot of people used to say with the um, bags for life. There was an, an old lady I saw, and she said, "Why am I buying an advert off of you?" <laughs> Can't get this off. Right. So, oh, it's by Welly. I'm home, getting to know a trend. Yeah, Home Bargain sells a few cars by Welly. And we've opened two types now, so this would be our third. So, is this going to be... Is this way really successful? That's terrible. I used to see welly vehicles... I think someone gave it the boot. I used to see welly vehicles in the 80s when I was a kid, but I haven't seen them so much nowadays. Well, except for when you went out to the baggies. Yeah. Wait. Hang on, hang on. Wait, you can take that away now. As you see, there's a little view on the back of this box. So, showing a home bargain. Oh, really? Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. Wait. That's a bit different, isn't it? Because you've got home bargains over here, and that is a home bargains over there. Wow, well, they've taken over this entire area. Yeah. Well, you get a lot of choice in that place. I wonder where it is. Is that a roundabout? If that's a roundabout, it's probably Swindon. How do you know? <laughs> You've got a lot of roundabouts. <laughs> right. So, you got this. Is that's a street. Oh God, now there's a roundabout. Kind of a thin plastic, but... Well, no, not... It's not that thin, it feels pretty sturdy. Hmm. If you had this next to a corgi, what? some <laughs> next to corgi cars and old corgi lorry, you a lot of people wouldn't know too much of the difference if they weren't collectors. It's very smooth. However, if you did hold it next to a corgi, I think the dog would be very concerned. I don't know if you can move the um, tractor from the trailer. Just simply find out. Well, I don't Does want it to say on the back? Oh yeah. You've got the stands that come down here. Ah, wait, 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 wait. What? It says on the back, this 164th scale die-cast super hauler with detachable trailer. Mm. An authentic livery. Oh, it's not pulled back and go. So... Recommend for children over five years old. He's got out. Oh, he's got some pretty decent um, details in the front of him. You know, it's a thinner die cast than most other die cast vehicles out and there. Does this bag not open? I don't know, I was wondering that myself. It but, does look like Oh, it. there you go. So here's the cab. It's a batch number. He don't look bad actually, do he? Not terrible. I think this would be quite good for like a little a child to play with. Mm, if you like lorries, I don't think it'll look bad on your shelf. I actually... The back door's open. You can put pallets in the back of there, easy. You can't just put a box of home bagging lorries in there because it wouldn't fit. But it's pretty good. Uh, Hang on. You could probably fit. No. 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 Yes. But you could use your old matchbox forklift. Well, you could just and, do that. And pretend that you're, uh, you're doing my old job and putting the pallets on the back. I don't think that'll fit. What are you on about, your nitwit? You put a pallet on the front. And then it go in there. Look at that, perfect scales. You can make a nice bit of little diorama out of that. In theory, yes. Yeah. So, what do you reckon? He costs a five on this one. I don't think that's too bad, really, do you? Not really. It's either a five or a five ninety nine. I can't remember which. But either way, I wouldn't be too upset over it. It's a decent looking model. Got rubber tyres on it. It rolls quite well. Let's uh, put that up. Connects together quite 
Switch the doors. It would have rolled quite well if um, Giant didn't uh, grab its back. <laughs> yeah, he's a pretty decent model. You were still rose fine. If I had to say to you, give it a number out of 10, what would you give it? Maybe about probably an 8. An 8? Okay. Um, we got no problems with this, to be honest. Uh, the wheels ain't perfect, but they roll. I think it's a nice little model. What would you give it then? It's not perfect, but it's not horrible, so I'll say a 9. I, I wouldn't so you just mind. one out. I wouldn't mind that. I, if that was on my shelf, I wouldn't complain about it. It wouldn't look horrendous or nothing. So you're saying we took something off that shelf and put it instead? No, if I had like a lor like lorries on show, then it would look fine. But you don't? I don't have my lorries on show now. I've got them put away. Because i got all my old um, corgi ones and all that. But I think he looks pretty decent. I think he's quite a nice thing. So, there you go. If you are near a home bargains and you want a model lorry, then that's not bad. And it's by Welly. So, their stuff is a bit um, different. They've they've had some good models and they've had they got some cheaper line stuff so that's that one would you say this was a home bagging then that's terrible but for now how many prices do you have on parts of your body do you have them on your bottom prices hey never mind that was a rubbish joke you yeah. complained about my joke yeah no don't worry my joke was better yeah i was Trying to be funny, and I just wasn't. You made me sad now. It really, it really wasn't. If you want to cheer me up, <laughs> <laughs> never mind. He's already cheerful. <laughs> Christ is avoided. Wait. Anyway, thanks for watching, and hopefully, we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye.